Oh, I don't know what's going on with my hair. And the bangs are getting down to like Michaela Peterson length where they're like kind of in front of my eyes. Uh, hey, hey dad, is it okay if I cut my bangs? It's not okay. It's necessary. After last week, I like... I just honestly really don't know if I can handle talking about any more grifters for a little bit, but I am. <laughs> I got to talk about another one today. His name's Grant Cardone. You probably know him. Grant Cardone likes to make a lot of videos about how you can avoid paying taxes, um, like at all. Taxes. We all hate them. We all hate paying for essentially anything. I'm of the belief that people who make very little money should be taxed very little because of the margin, right? So if you only have, let's just say $50,000 to live off of, if your tax is, you know, $1,000 for that year, okay, you still have $49,000 to live off of. But if your your tax is $10,000, $12,000, like that's coming out of your food money. When you have someone who's making millions or even billions of dollars, and they're getting taxed this, this huge chunk of change, they still have millions and millions and millions of dollars to live off of. They're not gonna go hungry. Is the United States government perfect? Absolutely not. Am I legally allowed to say that we should overthrow it? No, I'm not. Um, but I also think that really, really wealthy people benefit themselves from the system that the United States has in place. And then they like to complain about not wanting to pay into American institutions, not wanting to pay the IRS, not wanting their money to go to the state or to public schools or whatever. So they hoard their money and they shield it from taxes using these various techniques that only rich people can really get away with. Because if you're a, a poor person, there's no point to any of this. You just get your money and it gets taxed. End of story. Without getting too political, Political or pretending I'm some kind of tax expert, we're just going to look at this because you guys wanted to see it. Uh, we voted for this topic during last week's Loser TV. Be there this Thursday, 1 p.m. Pacific time. Last week, I did like a photo dump on my phone from all, all these like trad memes and stuff that I'd just screenshot it. <laughs> it was really fun. All right, so I just typed in Grant Cardone tax to TikTok. This one was just called How I Don't Pay Taxes. So let's give it a go. I never pay taxes. If there's a way not to pay, I never pay. You're constantly basically flipping your money into other real estate. Yeah, exactly. So I never have the money, right? I can never actually touch the money in a real estate transaction. If you touch any of the money, then it's going to get taxed. So in other words, if you make a bunch of money and then you need some of that money, any of the money that you liquidate, you're going to essentially have to pay some tax on it to basically to access it. But if you don't need that money, you can flip it into a bigger investment. Your money works for itself, but really someone is doing the work and someone is creating that value. Usually hardworking people going to jobs, paying for these houses, paying these mortgages. And then people like Grant Cardone can kind of just keep turning that money into more and more money. And then kind of sucks because when you think about it, it's like, how can a regular person like you or I ever really catch up to this? And you can try to copy what he's doing. You can try to follow his tips, but he already has a pretty big head start. And just manage your expectations because he's trying to tell everybody they can do what he did. It's not true. It's mathematically impossible. What I would do is I would just trade into another deal. I'm not avoiding the IRS. I'm just deferring till the future so that I can get my money to work. He had on the screen there, what's the 1031 exchange in real estate? In real estate, the 1031 exchange is a swap of one investment property for another that allows capital gains taxes to be deferred. Let me know what you guys think about that system. <laughs> They don't teach you this in college. The value of the property, the equity in the property, it went from 350 grand, 3 million, 9 million to 12 million. I can't spend any of it. It's funny because if you think about regular people, you can't realistically uh, expect gains like that on your, your retirement fund or anything. In my opinion, this is what everyone is constantly trying to do. And when everyone's doing this, basically... It's mindset. How do you get rich? It's mindset. Equity is growing. It's paying me every month in passive income. So let's say it was 10% or 8%, situation. whatever the number is. It goes from 350 to 3 million to $12 million. I can actually receive less money every month. I am. Hey, let's look at the comments really quick. It says in 10 years, we'll see him on the news for tax fraud. Uh, IRS writing, okay, new laws. 
No, I mean, this is how it's supposed to work. And I think these uh, these rich guys, they like to make a boogeyman out of the IRS as if um, it isn't totally set up to, to their advantage. <laughs> and yeah, sure, no rich person likes being taxed. You can't really expect them to like it. They've made their entire personality about making more money. So if someone wants to come in and appropriate some of that money from them, of course, they're not going to like it. But people like Grant Card Cardone will talk about the IRS as if it's this evil entity, when in fact, it's the IRS's rules that allow him to do this. <laughs> so really, it's you and I sh who should be pissed about the IRS. What is the point of a heavily centralized government if it doesn't benefit the people in some way? If we're going to be collecting taxes off these people, it has to be going into better programs and stuff. It can't just be like funneled into the fucking military. I think the fact that the right wingers have created this boogeyman out of the IRS is almost funny because it really does. It, it really is set up for them to work around all these things. Use the system to your advantage. Exactly. That's what they're doing. I can't stress it enough, but learn all these techniques before going big. <laughs> It's the only way to get big is to know all these techniques. How do you trade into another deal, though? Can you explain that part, please? Yeah, you hire uh, financial advisors and accountants and all these people to do this stuff for you. People who do legal paperwork. You have to have money <laughs> to do all this stuff. If you're going to do it all yourself, you're going to have to get licensed to do certain things, probably. He pays other people to do this for him. He pays for a service so that they can make these deals work. <laughs> it's not accessible to you and I. Okay, this one's called How to Write Off 50 Million in Taxes. I said, hey, you guys have a, a Gulfstream 550 or a 650 for sale. I'm interested in a jet. Business I got to take delivery warm. by the end of the year. And they're like, we don't keep jets around. We can't Join deliver a plane team. to you for two years. I said, okay, I hung up. I knew Gulfstream was what I wanted to buy. I called my accounting department. I said, send Gulfstream a check for X. Called the I guy am. back. I said, hey, Rick, I know you guys said you don't have a plane available, but I want you to call your accounting department. I sent a little gift to you. Call me back when you get the gift. Calls me back. He's like, I've been doing this for 30 years. Nobody's ever done that. And you're just a guy. Nobody's ever sent me a check prepaid for a plane. He said, I'll get busy finding you a plane. 14 days later, we took delivery of a plane. I, I flew it two hours. That's all I'm required to do by the IRS code. I had to take one flight in it, give it back to them. They kept it for another six months to demo their clients in. So we have a Gulfstream 550, 14 hours, one any, one, any direction without stopping. I can go from London all the way to Los Angeles nonstop. I love that this is like given as, adv as advice as if people on TikTok can use this advice. <laughs> hey, have you ever wanted to write $50 million off your taxes, which doesn't even compute to me. That's an inconceivable amount of money to me in the first place, has nothing to do with the numbers on my taxes. He's saying that all you have to do is buy a plane. <laughs> <laughs> buy a plane, get it delivered, fly it two hours, and then the IRS will let you write off 50 million in taxes. He really likes to talk about this tax private jet thing so much. Why do we get taxed tax so today? much? I thought you just said you didn't pay taxes. And then his caption says, if you didn't get taxed, what would you do with that extra money? You know what people do? They would like make a car payment or something, just spend it on rent. They would pay off some debt with it. I want tax advantages for my investments. I want to reduce my tax bill. If I earn money, I pay taxes. You should now go hire people. I hire people, I pay taxes on what they earn. With the money that I already been taxed on. I take the little bit of money I got left over and I go to the store, they tax me again. Yeah. That's three The taxes. little bit of money he has left over. Oh, that's so sad. They encourage me to go buy a house down the street. Then they charge me taxes to buy the house, taxes to borrow money on the house, and taxes to keep the house. Then I make investments for yeah. money that was already taxed four times. times. And then when I It's die, funny that you can get taxed when you buy the house, when you keep the house, and when you sell the house. And yet buying a house and renting it out is still a, like a cash flow business for these people. Even though they're taxed on it, they still are making money off of renters, even though they're taxed that much. And they still are making money off of some guy that lives in that house and goes and works at like fucking, you know, Target or goes and works at, you know, he's a plumber or something. Rent should be $200. That's my final offer. If I turn it into something, they want to get half of that too. I need to pay attention to, to the tax man because he, he's ripping people off. Not to mention- Oh, he's ripping people off? They uh... take the money and give it to people that waste it. It's not like- Oh, they take the money and give it to people that waste it. Waste it on what? On paying fucking rent? <laughs> Where did all my UI money go? I can tell you one thing. I sure didn't miss a payment to my landlord the entire pandemic. So I don't know what these people have to complain about.
take the money and give it to people that waste it. It's not like the roads are better, the schools What do you mean the roads aren't better? They constantly fix up the roads with that money. Thousands of cars drive on the roads every day. They swears them down. They get potholes. They need a lot of money to fix these things. Maybe instead we should like put it into public transit or something a little more sustainable. Better. The air is not better. The water is not better. People yes, it pay. is. It literally is. This was what the, the air quality chart right here from the EPA. Oh, look, 2016. It started to get worse again. That's so weird. I wonder why. This is like the epitome of like trickle up economics. A lot of people, regular people are just so busy. All we know is that we have to pay for our bills every month or else our shit gets taken away. Those are things we need to live. Those are things like a house, a car, our electricity, things like that. He's talking about like making millions and millions of dollars every single year and making sure he can shelter his money from the IRS. Those are the problems he thinks about all day. This man's never worried about his electricity getting turned off ever again. It's just such a different level, vastly alienated from anything real people deal with. I can't believe that this is popular or relatable. I fucking hate this guy. How to avoid capital gains, how to not pay taxes Investors. like Elon Musk. Not only does Elon Musk not pay taxes, he gets a bunch of money from the government. Elon Musk said, how do you guys want me to pay taxes? I don't make any money. I'm not an earner, I'm an investor. The only way for me to pay taxes is to sell stock. What do you mean he doesn't make money? He's one of the richest guys in the world. It's just a dishonest thing to say. Become an investor in 2022. One of your goals should be, I invest more money this year than I actually made last year. Imagine how big that change would be. How much money did you invest this year? Close to a million bucks. 11 years ago, he didn't see how he would ever make a million dollars in a year. The moment you go from spender to investor, you will reduce your tax bill. You know how, how much tax I'm gonna pay on that 2.4 million? Zero. Zero, why? Because he's a hero. <laughs> so these people, uh, it's total mask off. They just are admitting it. They've figured out that if they can inspire other people to go for this, that they don't have to lie about it. They don't have to have the mask on. If they can inspire other people to, to want this lifestyle, this lifestyle where you hoard wealth and you never have to feel insecure ever again about money, they don't have to be dishonest. They don't have to hide from it. They can just straight up be rich assholes publicly and openly as their whole personality. The fucked up part is that it's not advice for people like you and me. It's not advice on how you can reduce your tax bill or how we could, you know, fix the fucking tax system in America. It's always how can we lean in to how ultra conservatives have already made it so that there's all these fucking loopholes for them. And how can we take advantage of those? How can we um, align ourselves with the ultra rich so that we don't have to worry about taxes anymore. And I love that he also uses this victim narrative of like, we have to pay so many taxes, but then he also posts things that say, I never pay taxes. And this is, this is just perfect rhetorical bullshit where you can say you're both the victim of something and also you're stronger, better, you're above that. <laughs> Oh, guys, I'm losing my mind. I got to take a break from the fucking right wing grifters. My next video. There's no way. There's no way. That's all. I'll see you guys in a couple days. Bye bye. I mean, wait, wait, shit. Fuck. Fuck shit. Goodbye. Today's ad free video was brought to you by stepping on the back part of your shoes. If you ever need to go somewhere, but you don't feel like bending down to put your shoes on, you can just sort of stand on the back part of your shoe and flatten it. A big thanks to today's sponsor, and thanks to you for watching this video. Uh, there's more where that came from. Every Sunday and Tuesday, I'm uploading brand new videos, unless I don't feel like it, in which case, please do not confront me about it. Also, every single Thursday, I go live at 1 p.m. Pacific time for an episode of Loser TV. It's like TV for losers. If you want to support me financially, you can sign up for my Patreon. There's a $3 fan club tier if you want your name on the screen like these schmucks. Plus, there's a 666 tier for business witches. Uh, if you sign up for that tier, you can get every video a day early. And plus, there's a Sigma Losers tier for the elites. Don't worry, I give all my money to God. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.